Hi, I'm Roxy Saint. And I'm here with Fotech, drum and bass, producer, DJ, remixer. And we're going to talk about music. Yes. Who all have you worked with in your career? Mixed crowd, actually. I mean, it goes from David Bowie to Bjork, Nine Inch Nails, Gwen Stefani, Kevin Rustale. Obviously, most of the drum and bass people like Goldie. Did you do all of those remixes because you like those people or because you wanted to make a lot of money? Because I'm a sellout. <laughs> I actually done everything for the experience. Where did you find inspiration? I think drum and bass comes from from uh, kids like me who were like into hip hop, but also got into the rave scene mm. and just started making rave music with beats in it. So what songs take you back in time? Eric B for president takes me back to school discos and summer vacations and the first music that I really liked. So keep staring soon, you suddenly see a star, you better follow it because it's the all. What's the one song that just reminds you of something that's so special that you can never forget? The, one, about... that, the one that changed my life was, it was probably uh, Jimi Hendrix doing All Along the Watchtower. There's too much confusion. Make you yeah. want to play guitar? No, it didn't at all. I've, nev I've never wanted to play guitar. Really? It didn't make me want to sing it. It just like reminded me of how profound music should be, and that you should aim for that kind of impact or something that's significant. So, what's been the music that's influenced you? Other people's music? Tom Waits because I think he's a great lyricist. I'm more influenced by people that go against the norm. What current artists are influencing you? Well, that's a tough one because I hardly get to listen to any music. Right. I mean, you know what it's like. You're spending 23 hours a day in the studio mm -hmm. working on your own thing, so my awareness of what's going on in, in music is terrible. I listened to albums back to back all day long for days up there. There was no, no studio music making equipment there. And it's on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It's just somewhere where there's nothing disturbing and what better to do than just drink wine, make a fire and listen to music. probably in London, but he didn't recognize I was playing my guitar on the street, and he walked by and I noticed it was him, and he gave me a dirty look. So he put his record bag in his car, and I saw him, and it was unlocked, so I went and I stole it from him. I know you don't know that, but that was me that stole that little record bag of yours. I knew it that. was you. So how big is your record collection, besides the few records that I stole from you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a 100-foot container coming from from London this month. Most of it's kind of old techno and house. Uh, I got quite a lot of jazz records too. You know, a lot yeah. of John Coltrane, Miles Davis. Who are your jazz influences and do they affect your music? Oh yeah, I mean, it's really obvious in, in my earlier music. And there's huge, huge taste of Miles Davis. So has your taste in music changed over the years? Yeah, it's changed dramatically. I became open-minded, that's the simple answer. What really opened the door for me is probably probably working with Trent and seeing him work in the studio and seeing that he did things exactly how I did them, it's the same approach. And just like seeing him make that music and just getting it. Well, I'm a tarot card reader, so I already I don't know that already. <laughs> no, seriously, Let's like, do the cards. And... We should read the tarot cards. Let's do it. I want to know what's the future of drum and bass. Your drum and bass days are going away. Oh, the, really? That was more of an immature 
phase in your life. <laughs> um, that's just what it says. <laughs> It also okay. says that you're going to turn the drum and bass fans into rock and roll fans. <laughs> you don't have to listen to me. The cards never lie, right? It's like you might be playing some guitar and, you know, changing the world. You're deserted on an island and you can only take three albums with you. What albums would they be? Bites by Black Dog, which I think is the perfectly structured album. Big fun from Miles Davis. <laughs> Timeless from Goldie. Those would be my three. And you? <laughs> I would take Carol King, Tavistry, Raw Power by Iggy Pop. I'm bored. I'm the chairman of the board. Bleach by Nirvana. I would take a drum and bass. I would definitely take one of your records, probably. <laughs> it wasn't in your top Just three. Just to put me in the <laughs> Well, nor was mine in yours, so whatever. I'm your drum and bass groupie, and it's always good to see you. <laughs> My rock and roll superstar. Cool. So, um, um, punk bad girl inspiration. <laughs> so we'll go to my rehearsal room now and we'll have a jam. And, let's, go you know? change, let's, let's go change music. <laughs>